hi in this tutorial we are going to discuss about difference between comparable competitor interfaces we all know both are used to for it uh, sorting elements in collections framework and yeah the curiosity comes then why we have two interfaces for same thing so even yes we encountered these questions in interviews as well like what's the difference between comparable and competitor interfaces now to understand the differences let us start with a small example here let us understand how we do sorting using a comparable first then also we'll see how we do sorting using comparator and we will figure out the differences between a comparable and comparator so in this example i am taking an employee class where employee has two properties name and phone numbers and the idea here is i want to sort employee objects and we will do this using comparable first okay so if i want to sort employee which is a custom object using our collections like tree set tree map then our employee should provide implementation of comparable or comparator so first our focus is on comparable now employee should implement comparable interface so we are going to compare of type employees so here the generic type t should be replaced with employee all right now this interface provides one abstract method that should be implemented okay so this is this is what used by your tree set or your collections uh, classes for sorting employees now we have uh, two properties for this employee that is name and phone number we need to decide based on which property we, we want to sort employee is it sort by name or is it sort by phone number so to start with i am taking sort by name first so in this i'm using name dot compare to e dot name right and return its value okay i'm taking name of one employee and comparing with the name of I am taking name of one employee and I am comparing that with name of other employee in order to sort employees based on name. So the implementation of comparable is over here. Now let us write a demo class and put employee objects into tree set and see the results whether it sorts employees based on name or not. Create a new class saying demo. Add a main method here and create a tree set which stores employee objects it stores employee objects add new employee some and the phone number which is again a string here I'm just putting some dummy names and dummy phone numbers to test our example. Right? Just put enhance for loop and access the employees here. E dot name plus e dot uh, phone number yes yeah it's all sorted based on name here Abilash Harry followed by Raghu so this is how we compare 
or this is how we sort employees or custom objects using a comparable interface and points to remember here is when we go with comparable interface we need a source code of a class which we are planning to sort why because that class has to provide the implementation of comparable or this is one important point to note for comparable interface the class which is going to be sorted must implement comparable interface for example if we don't have a source code we have only a dot class file in our class path then we don't have an option to do this so this is one limitation with your comparable interface you must have a source code then only you can go and do sorting based on comparable interface that is point number one point number two is in this method we can implement sorting based on one property it can be either name or it can be phone or something else but it is not possible to support sorting by all properties of your employee that is a limitation too so limitation one you must have a source code of a class you want to sort limitation two we can sort only based on one property and it is not feasible to sort based on multiple properties so that is how your comparable works for sorting now let us jump into comparator interface now let us see how comparator works and let us figure out the differences between a comparable and comparator so just i'm removing all this comparable interface sorry comparable implementation here in order to start with not to start with comparator interface now when we go with comparator interface there is no need to modify the class itself which is going to be sorted instead of that we are going to create a new fresh class which does implementation of sorting for us i want to sort based on name so i say sort by name comparator so it's an independent class so it's not modifying your employee it is an independent class here implements comparator and we are going to compare of type employees so it has to be employee provide the implement I mean unimplemented method implementation is here E1 which is employee 1 and we are going to compare with E2 in this I want to sort based on name so take name of employee 1 even dot name dot compared to e2 dot name and return this value right so now let us create a demo program and let us use this comparator for sorting employees see here see by default it looks for implementation of comparable but now we're interested with comparator implementation so i want to tell my tree set don't look for comparable i am going to give you a comparator use that object for sorting my employee objects now check this constructor here which takes a comparator so here we can pass our comparator implementation that is new sort by name comparator now tree set is going to use our comparator for sorting all our employees now run this example and see yeah so it's working perfectly okay and 
at runtime user may choose sort by name or sort by phone number so i want to provide sorting based on name and based on a phone number so we already have implementation that is sort by name and we want one more comparator which does sort by email just copy paste this class and modify according to the phone number here right right so instead of name we are going to use a phone we're going to use a phone now see if you pass this it will sort based on name for example I want to do sort by phone then we need to pass sort by phone comparator now run and check the results yeah see this now it's based on phone number six coming first followed by seven followed by nine now if user selects sort by phone pass this object if user selects sort by name then pass this object so that is how we can sort based on multiple properties using a comparator so now coming to the differences comparable requires a class or requires a source code in order to provide implementation of comparable that's number one number two it can sort based on one property and it is not feasible to sort based on multiple properties now coming back to comparator we can sort based on multiple properties and we don't need a source code of a class which we are planning for a sorting in the collection 